using extruded cut with just a sketch was a little bit cleaner on this example, but there's lots of cases where you will have a lot more power with cutting bodies with surfaces. So we can go ahead and demo that. For that, we're going to need this guy to be trimmed because if we made a surface out of this part currently, we would have an arc and two circles. So when we cut with it, we would end up using this as a cutting plane as well. So one way to go about that is a tool called Split Entities, which will actually split this circle into multiple pieces. So we can select there, there. Yes, it's going to get a little messy for a second. Okay, now it's split. So what happened, that error, we can see we no longer have equal an equal equal uh, constraint, so we can set that back to equal. And then this point here, because this is now a freely uh, separated part, but we want that to be coincident with our edge here. And we want this one to be coincident with the edge. And we can go into trim and just get rid of those two parts. Now you can see that we have just our circle. You can also trim this with using these tools, but I thought that was a good way to show the power of split entities. I use those all the time. Um, what we can do then is go to surfaces, uh, extrude a surface, and we can just do a surface that will guarantee us that we're going to be past the thickness of the part. Okay, now we have a surface where we want to cut. In this surface, remember, is infinitely thin. There's no volume there. But we can go to cut with surface right here. You then select what surface you're going to use. And with this arrow, you can see which side you're going to cut. So now we have it cut. We can take our surface and hide it. And now we have two things in the tree, but by doing that radius on inside the surface instead of afterwards, you only have two things in the tree, not three things in the tree. There we have it.